the first time ever I saw professional sound equipment as opposed to hi-fi equipment up close. And I remember they had like a, a couple of mixing desks, you know, all, uh, set up that they were working on, uh, being repaired, and I saw amp, amp racks and, uh, and big bass bins and uh, professional microphones. And uh, straight away, it was just a like, doom, 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 you know, that was, you know, very, I didn't know what anything did. So I was looking at these mixing desks with all the controls, all the, all the buttons, I had no idea what anything was. But uh, I knew I, I, I liked the idea of that, you know. So uh, yeah. So live sound was it for me. That was it, you know. And uh, and I loved it, uh, and still do. Now, now things are completely different. The industry is completely turned around since people don't really buy music no longer. Uh, the live sound industry is where the, the the money is coming from in in our industry now. So uh, so. Um, so uh, that means that uh, that uh, that now I'm actually glad that I'm still a live sound engineer, you know. And uh, but saying all of that, you know, and now doing both studio and live sound, um, I love them equally, but for different reasons. But just the excitement of live sound is just great. Doing a live show so in the heat of the moment, uh, having the crowd go nuts. And it's the idea of having a team, having a team, a front of house engineer, monitor engineer, lighting guys, backline guys, everybody's focused as a professional team. It feels like you're a crew on a ship, but then, you know, a crew in, in, on a stage, you know, I, I love it, you know, I love it, yeah. yeah. You're going to be around a lot of amazing musicians all the time, you know. And uh, it gets, it, it sometimes gets to the point where it's embarrassing because like I'm the only one, you know, apart from the manager maybe, who, uh, who uh, you, know, who, you know, who doesn't play anything, you know. I work with people who play music and I see them play music and it just blows me away. I could never do that. I could never even get anyone close. I could never even pretend to do that. Uh, the, the, but, but I can support them in a way that's, you know, that, is, is, is alien to them, you know, that, uh, that uh, I can support them by doing certain things that they couldn't do. And so one time I remember, it was a, it was, it was a very good moment. One time uh, after a, uh, perhaps a few drinks, uh, I expressed in front, of, uh, in, front of, uh, in front of my friends, you know, my, uh, my insecurity, you know, I think it was at the dining table before dinner or something, you know, and uh, I said, you know, so uh, I feel so, you know, because you guys play so amazing, and I'm uh, the only one here who fucking doesn't play a fucking note, you know. And they all looked up to me and said, but the mixing desk, that's your instrument, you know, and that made me feel better. I love recording, I love live sound, I love mastering, but I really love, love, love mixing because with mixing, that's uh, that's that's uh, that's really more than the other ones allows you to create an illusion, you know, and uh, 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 it allows you to 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 create uh, something whereby the people think that it is something that that you know it really wasn't that, but you made it sound like that, you know, sound is beautiful, music is beautiful. If you're a sound engineer, you get to make music sound beautiful. It's, it's better than sex. It's uh, just the, the music and sound, where they come together, technology and art. If you, uh, if, you, uh, if you love music, and if you love technology, then sound engineering is for you. There's just no ways about it.